Hey guys, let's look at the null reference exception. In this video, I'm going to give you three different scenarios and also I'm going to talk about the Microsoft Docs where, which you need to refer. So let's get started. To understand this, first of all, let's see this example. So here what I have done, look at this carefully. Okay, because you uh, reading the uh, image is very important during your exam. Okay, what kind of image is given and you how you grasp it is important. So here look at this and let me show you how the value is written. So it's a row count and it is written something like this dt one dot rows dot count. Okay. Okay, so you can see this. Uh, now um, I am also going to sh show you the variable variable panel. Look at the variable panel. So you have data table as dt1 and then row count in 32. So here we are just trying to get the count of rows that is there inside the data table. Okay. Now in this one, what would happen if I am going to run this? Okay, if I am going to run this, definitely it's going to throw me an error called null reference exception. Why? Why am I getting object reference not set to an instance of an object, right? You have, so um, that error would come. So why this error is coming? So if you are debugging, you need to continue. If you run it, the error will be thrown directly. Okay, so look at it. So what is saying? DT1 row count object reference not set to an instance of an ob object. Exception, exception type system dot null uh, reference exception. Okay, this is very important to understand. So first thing what you do when you have done this on your studio, uh, first thing is you try to take a screenshot of this and keep it on a blank notepad like this. Okay. All right. So once you are done with that, let's understand what is written system dot null reference dot exception. And let's go back to the studio, uh, go back to the Microsoft docs and get a bit of understanding. So what Microsoft document says about this, when this error would come, when the object is null okay here the complete definition is given a null reference exception is thrown when you try to access a member on a type whose value is null so here we are trying to access a data table whose value is null okay and trying to get a count so whenever you are trying such data types for example data table list array and all that when it is all it's not initialized and you're trying to do something when there is no data inside that and you're trying to do something right so th those are the times when you will get this error null error and how do you fix this so this error can be easily fixed even though there is no data what i'm going to do i'm going to simply initialize this okay so how do you initialize a data table you simply write new data table right system dot data table you can write or simple write data table okay so i have in initialized now if i debug it even though the values are null because it is already initialized the object is already initialized and there is no value inside it the error should not be thrown so let's see this okay you can see the object reference um, error had not appeared got it so you got to know how when the how the error appears and how to rectify that now let's see how many of you can answer this look at this carefully so in the try block, this is what is written. DT1 row count, row count, DT1 row, rows dot count. Okay. And look at the variable panel. So here it is not initialized. Okay. Now in this case, which exception will be caught out of all? Okay. So out of all this, which exception will be caught? Okay. So let's run that. So you know that, right? Which exception, for example, if I'm not going to have this uh, null reference exception, which will be caught? exception will be caught okay system dot exception will be caught so let me first run this so here we do not have null reference exception so if you do not have a particular one then the parent exception will be caught so the parent is always system dot exception okay so the parent is system dot exception you can see uh, exception dot message got executed exception dot source got executed so it is happening from system dot exception so this much you have understood okay now let's move on to our third scenario okay let me stop this in the third scenario the same situation and the data table is still not initialized if you look at okay it's still not initialized and here actually in this one i have added null reference dot exception to get this browse for types and hit on type system dot null reference dot exception you will get it 
So in this case, because null reference exception is already present, IO exception will not be, the parent will not be executed. The accurate one will be get executed. Which, which one? Null reference exception will be accurate. If it is not there, then it will go to exception. Okay, this knowledge should be clear. Now let me debug it and show you. It will come to the null reference exception. So the, you're getting right. So the, the bit of idea about null ref, reference exception, IO exception, system exception should be there. Okay, this is important. So now you can see error has been thrown and the in the cache section, null reference exception got executed. Getting it? So these are the important points and you can always refer the documentation that is there. Um, right, it is on CSR, but again, the concepts is the same. So please do um, have a look on this specific document. So thank you guys for watching. Let's move on to our next topic and do comment completed. Thank you.